डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स टूडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विद यू ऑल अबाउट पाइल फाउंडेशन बिहेवियर एंड सॉइल पाइल इंटरेक्शन ड्यूरिंग एंड आफ्टर अर्थक्वेक इंड्यूज लिक्विफेक्शन नो इंट्रोडक्शन द पाइल फाउंडेशन आर डिजाइंड टू ट्रांसफर वर्टिकल लोड्स फ्रॉम द सुपर स्ट्रक्चर टू द डीप बियरिंग स्टार्टअप एस सच दे आर वर्नरेबल टू लेटरल लोड इफ एनी इम्पोज ऑन देम बाई ग्राउंड शेकिंग ड्यूरिंग स्ट्रॉन्ग अर्थक्वेक्स ड्यूरिंग सॉइल लिक्विफेक्शन दिस वर्नरेबिलिटी इज मोर प्रोनाउंसड सिंस द लॉस ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ एंड स्टिफनेस इन लिक्विफाइड सॉइल रिजल्ट इन अ नियर कंप्लीट लॉस ऑफ लेटरल सपोर्ट फॉर देम विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू इन फ्यू ऑफ माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स इट इज नोन फ्रॉम प्रीवियस अर्थक्वेक्स दैट लिक्विफेक्शन इम्पोज वेरी लार्ज लोड ऑन पाइल फाउंडेशन both from inertial loads from the superstructure and from lateral displacements of liquefied soil after the earthquake has occurred the extensive damage and failure of piles have affected numerous bridges buildings storage tanks and other structures in the past all over the world these unprecedented level of damage to pile foundations of many modern structures due to earthquake induced liquefaction instigated the engineering community to understand the soil pile interaction in liquefied soils in a better way and devise methods to improve the seismic performance of pile foundations now loading of piles in liquefiable soils during earthquake shaking is a complex phenomena involving interaction between the soil pile and superstructure i will be explaining you all about with the help of a figure which was actually done and given to this to the engineering community by tokimatsu and asaka in 1998 this figure explains the soil pile interaction in liquefiable soils with inertial force and ground displacement acting on piles at different stages of loading during and after the earthquake with the help of these four images now during earthquake shaking what happens case 1 you see the figure 1 at the beginning of shaking only inertia loads from the superstructure are significant case 2 that is the figure 2 during shaking with, with the development of excess pore pressure pore water pressure large cyclic shear stress developed results in large cyclic ground displacement as has been shown in the figure with the arrow depicting the increase in the bending moment at this stage kinematic forces from the ground displacement act in addition to the inertial forces from the superstructure now case 3 it has been depicted in two parts case 3a and case 3b case 3 that is near the end of the shaking a residual component of the shear remains producing a permanent horizontal ground displacement the inertial forces at this at this stage are minimal although the kinetic forces due to soil movement are dominant now what happens after earthquake case 3a shows that in level ground the residual deformations in piles are generally less than the maximum cyclic displacement while in case 3b in the case of piles embedded near a free face such as a river bank or quay wall or in gently sloping ground the residual deformations are quite large as has been depicted by the arrow showing the ground displacement that is in level ground this ground displacement at the pile cap top near the ground level is very less whilst in the slopy gently sloping ground this ground displacement is much more in comparison to the level ground now therefore pile foundations behavior and soil pile interaction following liquefaction can be divided into two distinct phases cyclic phase during earthquake shaking and lateral spreading after liquefaction has occurred during cyclic phase what happens is the piles are subjected to cyclic horizontal loads from both the ground displacements and the inertial loads at this stage the soil may not have been fully liquefied and as such retains some of its stiffness and strength in contrast lateral spreading is a post liquefaction phenomena when the soil stiffness is very low and the pile experiences large unilateral soil movements and relatively small inertial loads 
As a result, design of pile foundation in seismically liquefiable areas still remains a constant source of attention to the earthquake geotechnical engineering community. Namaskar and thank you. Hope you would have loved this lecture of mine. Keep on subscribing to my YouTube channel, Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Thank you. Thank you very much.